Hey YouTube, I'm back. Uh, sorry for the lack of videos. I've just been really swamped with work and uh, finally it's starting to clear up. Um, it's not as busy as it was earlier in the year, so I'm pretty thrilled. So now I can do other things like uh, make YouTube videos. Uh, so you'll be uh, seeing more of my videos on a more frequent basis now. Um, but I do want to start off by saying uh, thank you to all my subscribers and I do want to welcome all uh, my new subscribers, um, I should be making more videos on a, on a normal basis, so um, I really do appreciate the support. Thank you very much. Um, but in the time I haven't been making videos, I've went gangbusters on getting games. I got a ridiculous amount of stuff. I think this is possibly the largest haul I got um, maybe in a year, maybe year and a half. Um, I got a ridiculous amount of stuff. Um, I didn't spend that much on it, so, um, uh, that's pretty good. For what I got, I'm pretty thrilled about it. Um, but, uh, let me start off with a few things that are non-game related. Uh, first thing, uh, my birthday was a couple, uh, weeks ago. So, as you can tell, I got a new camera. Well, actually, it's a new phone. And I got a, um, brand new, um, iPhone 4. This is the, uh, 16 gig. So I really like it, and I also got a um, OtterBox uh, case for it, which is the best case ever. So if you're ever looking for an iPhone case, get an OtterBox. They're incredible. Um, also for my birthday, I got a book, and um, it is called uh, They Call Me Baba Booey. Um, this book is great. I highly recommend it. Um, uh, they Call Me Baba Booey is, um, I'm sure uh, people have heard um, this name before, um, this is actually the King of All Media's producer's um, nickname. Um, his name is Gary Delabate, and he does have the nickname, nickname of Baba Booey, and he is um, Howard Stearns, um, the King of All Media's um, producer. And he did write a book pretty much about his life story, which is very interesting. Um, and if you've been listening to Howard Stern, um, they were actually ragging on him for probably a good month or so about this book. Um, but one of the one of the best things about this book is the back cover. Um, one thing lately that Baba Booey is known for is um, possibly making the worst pitch in uh, baseball history, and um, it's so infamous. It's um, I don't think he'll ever be able to live it down. But um, they even immortalized it on the back of the book. So yeah, so here he is making one of the worst pitches in. Uh, baseball history. This is a really funny book. I definitely, definitely think it's worth a pick up. And if definitely if you're a Howard Stern fan, definitely, definitely pick it up. Um, got a whole bunch of DVDs. Um, the first two I got, um, they're actually sealed. Um, I got them at Goodwill. And I remember seeing these uh, on Tech TV uh, late at night. And it's called, these are called Anna Music. Um, it's pretty much like, um, like synth, uh, synth, uh, like um, like pretty much like techno music or like um, orchestra music, but it's uh, played to um, like um, computer generated like instruments. They're really it's really well done. Um, it's great. I definitely check them out. Um, I got Anna Music too. Um, I haven't opened them yet. Um, I just haven't really had time to get around to them. Um, definitely look these up. I'm sure they have like uh, videos on YouTube, but um, definitely definitely check out Anna Music. It's very interesting stuff. Um, and as, um, everybody knows, um, my favorite TV show is, um, the BBC's Top Gear. I've been watching it forever and I went nuts picking up their DVDs. So I got Top Gear season 12, Top Gear season 13, Top Gear season 14, and the one I just picked up last night. Top Gear Season 15, and I cannot wait for uh, Season 16. It just ended, so hopefully they'll be making the DVD soon. So um, that's it for uh, non-gaming related items. So um, I'm trying to decide where I'm going to start off with. Um, might, as well, might as well start off with the, um, the Game Wave. Um, I made a, and possibly a few uh, video, uh, videos ago, actually probably a while ago, um, I showed you a couple games for a, a very obscure system called the Game Wave. It's kind of like a, a family educational system. 
Um, it's still available. It's I think it came out in 2005. Um, it's pretty much like a DVD player that has like um, DVD remotes as controllers. It's pretty bizarre. It did it's pretty much a total flop. It's um, they didn't make that many games for it. But I went to Toys R Us a couple of days ago and um, I picked these up. They're actually 75% uh, off, and um, I have them sealed. I picked up uh, three games. Uh, the first one is uh, Rewind, uh, Relive the Events of Our Past. Uh, next is uh, Zap 21. Um, I guess it's a uh, double blackjack now, your house rules. I guess it's a gambling game or blackjack. And uh, the last one I got is um, uh, Four Degrees. Um, the Ark of Trivia, and this is the uh, Bible edition. Um, so, yeah. I'm probably going to keep them sealed because I really have no interest in uh, playing those. Uh, I think I paid probably like two bucks for all three of them. Uh, moving on to, um, hmm, let me see. I guess I'll move on to the handheld stuff I got. I got a whole bunch of handheld stuff. Uh, the first two games I got are for uh, the Game Boy Advance. Um, they're actually pretty rare games as well. And uh, they're actually both sealed. The first one is a one I just got from eBay. And that is uh, Super Robot Tyson, the uh, original generation. And uh, it's from Atlas. And uh, pretty much like everything from like Gundam to... Um, um, Voltron... I'm drawing a blank on other mech animes, but um, that's pretty cool to like a strategy game or RPG. Um. And the other one I got, which is a very rare game, it was actually I think one of one of the release titles or one of the earliest um, Game Boy Advance games is uh, Zone of the Enders: The uh, Fist of Mars. Uh, not too many people know that there actually was a uh, portable Zone of the Enders game. It's actually very rare, and as you see, it's sealed. And I put it in this the uh, this. Um, acrylic box or I don't know what it is it's a it's a tough plastic so keep them nice I haven't gotten it for the uh, robot Tyson yet but uh, I need to order some more all right uh, moving on to the uh, DS games I got a whole bunch of uh, DS games first one is um, Kingdom Hearts Recoded with the uh, shiny cover next is uh, Freedom Wings by Natsumi um, next is uh, Grand Theft Auto Chinatown Wars. I've actually wanted to get this game for a while. Um, next is My Sims. Um, I've actually been holding off on getting these two games for a while. Um, I don't know, I'm, I actually might start getting back into this. Um, that I got a Pokemon Platinum version and diamond version. I haven't played poke to be honest, I haven't played a Pokemon game since Red and Blue, so I haven't pl I haven't played it in almost 10 years, but um I'm I'm probably going to jump back into these two and then eventually play Black and White. Um so might as well get started again. Um next is uh Sim City DS. Sim Animals. And uh finally, it's a uh, Sonic Rush Adventure. So those are all the uh, DS games I got. Um, and the last handheld, well actually no, scratch what I just said. The last Nintendo handheld related thing I got is a actually a very rare um, Game Boy Advance SP. And that is the, uh, the Pikachu version. And it's kind of hard to tell in the video, but it's kind of scratched up. And a little bit of the the, um, the paint's coming off, but it's in, in pretty damn good shape. Um, and this is actually the um, the upgraded version of the um, of the um, Game Boy Advance. I think it was called the uh, Game Boy Advance Plus SP Plus, which has the uh, the backlight instead of the uh, front lit original model. So um, this is very nice. And actually, this is a very rare model. I haven't seen many of these, and they go for some pretty outrageous prices on eBay. So that's pretty neat. All right, moving on to the other handheld, the uh, PSP. Um, first one is uh, Tales of the World Radiant Mythology. 
Next is uh, Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories. Next is uh, Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories. Sonic Rivals. Sonic Rivals 2. I found uh, two more copies of uh, Metal Gear Solid Portable Ops. I already have these two games and uh, Portable Ops Plus. I'm going to turn down a couple extra copies. Um, Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. Little Big Planet for the PSP. And finally, The uh, Sims 2. Um, I'm just going to let you um, be warned. Um, if you couldn't have told already, um, there's going to be a lot of Sims games in this video. All right. Um, hmm. Let's see. I guess I might as well do Xbox games. Um, got a couple original Xbox games. First one is uh, 007 Nightfire and uh, Tony Hawk's American Wasteland. And I, the last one I got, it's actually a pretty rare limited edition. Unfortunately, it's in pretty shitty condition, to be honest. Um, and that is the uh, limited edition of Mark Echo's Getting Up Contents Under Pressure. Okay, so it comes in this slipcover, which is completely fucked up, completely discolored. And as you see, the metal tin is completely torn up which really sucks. Um, this does come some with some interesting stuff, obviously the uh, game. Comes with a OW art book with stuff I could really care less about. A music CD and a silver Sharpie for whatever reason. Um, so that's pretty neat. Um, you don't see many of these. Actually, you almost never th see these on eBay. So I think I picked it up for like 20 bucks or something. Wish the uh, the case was in better condition, but um, what could you do? I'll probably have to find a better one eventually. Um, hmm. I guess I'll move on to the PlayStation 2 in my next video because I'm actually running out of time and uh, keep an eye out for part two. Thank you.